President Nanado Dankwe Kufuado says government is taking steps to complete several major projects ongoing in the Dagbang traditional area. He gave the assurance when the overlord of Dagbang, Yana Abubakar Mahama II, called on him at the Jubilee House in Accra. The colorful mini gathering at the forecourt of the Jubilee House brought together eminent chiefs from Dagbon and some prominent citizens across the country. The overlord of Dagbon, Yana Mahama II, in his message read on his behalf by Dr. Jacob Yakubu Mahama, Zangbanana, thanked the president and members of the National House of Chiefs, the National Peace Council, the security agencies, the clergy, UN agencies and the diplomatic community for their support for Dagbon. He called on the president to help resolve the problem in Nantong. We want to entreat you that the problem in Nantong is threatening the peace and unity that you have worked so hard to build for the people of Dagbon. We want to appeal to you once again to spend your singular efforts and the efforts of all stakeholders in this Dagbon peace project by bringing to an end the unwarranted and lawless usurping of Nantong town by the Zosalna Haruna Tia as an act which is not only undermining the relative peace in Dagbang, but a criminal one indeed, and bringing all your efforts in Dagbang to nil. President de Kufadu assured the people Dagbon will enjoy their share of development as long as they sustain peace in the area. With government determined to exploit and add value to the iron ore deposits at Shaini, to finish the second phase of the Tamale Airport project, to construct the Tamale Interchange, the first of its kind in the northern sector of the country, to see to the imminent completion of the Tamale Teaching Hospital, to upgrade the Yendi Government Hospital to a befitting status, to promote the sustainable development of agriculture in the area, and soon to commence the Yendi Water Project. It is evident that great days lie ahead for Dagbon, under the stewardship of Yana Mahama Abukari II. 